is going on? What is going on? It's like every single helicopter and fire engine is out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in Teville. We are going to be putting down some advanced factory work today, trying to balance our industries and make even more money in this city here and thank you very much for all the support on these videos i really really do appreciate it I've, I've been drinking so much tea since the last episode because regulars here will know every like means another sip of tea what the heck is that blazing far <laughs> oh my goodness what is going on what is going on i don't think i've seen a fire this but look how many look <laughs> There's so many of them. I've got to get a screenshot of that. Oh, my life. At least it's right by the water here. But look, all the fire... Something, some, some, something somewhere has updated a mod or done something. Look. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Look at them. Oh, this is just nuts. Oh, my goodness. That is horrendous. Oh, my God. We just have to watch this for a minute. Let me look. It's like every single helicopter and fire engine is out. And the fire's causing horrendous traffic. Let's just see what the traffic's at. Oh my goodness, we don't want to see what the traffic's at. 58%. Oh, wow. People are still like running. Run for your lives. Don't look back. Wow. Well, we're going to rebuild. Don't worry. Everyone's going to get their houses and their trees back. Oh, okay. We seem to have an issue with <laughs> something. Stop it. Oh, wow. We've lost so much population because of that, I'm sure. Well, look at that. The citizens are saved. The game crashed. I had to go back in time and there's no fire. I have noticed, just before we get into sorting out our industries, bit of traffic going on down here this is a little roundabout that i had set up in this area and it seems like a lot of cars are using this road through here now and i don't think i've set this roundabout up correctly let's just have a quick look no look no giveaway signs or anything and you can see what's happening so we just use the traffic manager tool not going to go too much into this and we're going to give that one on, that one on. This allows people to go into a block junction, but only if they're already on the highway. And then we're going to just speed that up and watch this traffic just go down. There you go, brilliant. This road's free, this road's free, this road's free, this road's free. Just goes to show how one accidentally misset up roundabout can cause all sorts of problems. At some point, I'm going to have to upgrade this road going through here with little bypasses for the roundabout, but today is not that day. So, as we're going to be expanding our industry, uh, I wanted to have a look to see what factories we can add. So, we've been making here some metals and we've been making glass. And if we look at this area, we're now upgraded to level 3, which is fantastic. We're making a lot of money from our metals, but we can make even more money from that. So what I want to do is use... Let's have a quick look down here. We have two choices. We can use the Lemonade Factory, because that will use our Crops Lemonade Factory. So... This will bring in crops and use glass. Now, we are making crops. We have our farming area. Yeah, we've got this teeny tiny small farming area. It's not very big, is it? So we could do with increasing that a little bit. Um, and the other factory that we can use is the industrial steel plant. And I think we're going to go for that one first. That is just going to take some of those metals that we're basically just exporting and turn them into stuff like that. So I'm just thinking how we can fit this in here. I'm going to delete that road. And that's going to go right in there. Ping. We now have an industrial steel plant all within the area. And this is going to be wanting metals coming in. 100% production rate. And then it's going to be making steel. And that's going to start making us a lot of money. So how many metals do we have stored? None at the moment. Now, as this area is building up, we could also do with some way of making sure all of our industry traffic doesn't start going through this area here. Now, as we have a look down from the top, we do have access here straight to the highway, which is good. 
Uh, we have the sea right over here with all this bleh, pollution, which we'll maybe take a look at as well. There's roads here that go through to this main road with industry and stuff. I mean, if uh, with residential, I mean, if too many trucks start coming down here, we'll stop them doing that. There's policies to do that. But what I'm thinking of doing is utilizing this seafront and we could add into here. Let us have a look on here. The cargo hub. Hmm, train traffic and seafront cargo. We might need to reshape the sea a bit. Actually, that worked quite well. I just used the move it mod with the snapping tool. And then I think all we need to do here is just move that up a little bit higher. And we'll do the same all the way over here. So select the node, control H. And then click on the one you want it to be the same height as. There we go. I think all of these along here. There we go. I think that'll do. Looks a bit better. So let's get this. And hopefully that will fit in there. Yeah, nice. Right next to there. I mean, we may switch some things around here and repurpose it all a bit later if we need to. But we can connect these roads up, which we need to do. That to there. Very good. Gives us our road access. So now, this is going to start taking our cargo in and out. Haven't got the train connected yet, that's fine. If they're going to just come down here and drop off, hopefully, some metals, uh, some steel. From, oh, look, here we go. We are already producing steel, and that is making us a ton of money. Freight trucks in use 2 of 12. Well, I don't know where they've gone, but the more we make, the more money we are going to make. That is absolutely brilliant. And now we've got this going... Let's put the lemonade one in as well, and then we can balance whether we need... How big is this one? This is pretty big too. Yeah, I'm just going to change the road layout on here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. There we go. Have a quick look. Yeah, that power's all going to connect up. There we go. Yaksu Energy Lemonade Factory. Um, so that is going to be needing crops as well as the glass that we're making over here. So hopefully, we're going to be making enough of that. Uh, where's the area? There we go. This doesn't need to be placed inside an industry area. I've just got it there. So the ores we're making is going to get split between those two. So hopefully, we'll get enough coming in. But the crops is the thing that uh, I'm most uh, concerned about. Let's have a look at... Hmm, so it might be that we need to expand our farm area as well which is going to cause more traffic in here. But we've got the train. See, if we get our train line connected up, they can come in. Yeah, so there was a reason for connecting the train. So where does the train go? It comes up here. Yeah, they can't... At the minute, they can't get from there to there. The way I've set it up, this junction needs to change. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to do that today. Then the line comes down that way. If we could split off here, it could come up... Whoa! Game jump. We could split off there and come up and connect here. I think that might be a good idea. Let's just see if we can run our train line from here over to there. There we go. I think that'll do. A little coastal <laughs> train line. I may I may line that up a bit better. That goes up here. That goes up there. So they can get now from here to over here if they need to. And we might just see that happening a little bit more as the need for the crops goods increases. Uh, what I'm also going to do is put some grain silos over here, just on a little side road. Oh, auto save, sip of tea. Uh, yeah, let's just add a couple of those in there, just to maybe encourage them storing them over this way. And I need to sort out a water problem, and I'll be back with you when we see how this all goes. Oh, and here we go. This train here has just come from the cargo train terminal all the way over there. And it has dropped off some crops for us. This is filled up. This is making lemonade. And we are now shipping out our lemonade. And hopefully the trucks from here will go straight to this. Send it outside. That's like the nearest spot. We could just give another little road connection. I mean, at the minute they're going up there, around there. We could just add a little road onto here, couldn't we? Why not? Let's just make it nice and easy for them. Uh, actually, if we go like that we can connect that to there and that can connect to there yeah that's rubbish isn't it <laughs> that is rubbish isn't it i don't like that at all 
Oh, and there we go. Our first boat is leaving. Transporting cargo to Renville. That is absolutely brilliant. And I've upgraded this road down here. You may have heard me mention the touch this mod. There we go. You just turn that on. Touch the roads down here. They're green normally. And then you can just upgrade them. And that is it. That enables you to upgrade the roads that are in front of things like your uh, cargo hubs and stuff like that so that is working really well so that is going to be sending out that making us look how much money we're making let us check in here industry twenty thousand profits and most of that is coming from our warehouses and unique factories so all of that up and down money losing money all that sort of thing is now balanced out by the fact that we have a couple of working factories that are making extra money for us. That is absolutely brilliant. And also, just to make sure that we never run out of space for our unique factory products, we are just going to pop... How big's this one here? Oh, that's far too big. Just one of these along here. There we go, like that. And that is going to be for our unique factory products. There we go, the things that are getting sold. Um, we'll keep that on balanced and feel empty. Aim to keep it empty by selling the resources. Yeah, we want that on empty. But just in case that uh, there's too much coming out and they've got nowhere to go and it's going to start causing a queue, they can be stored in there until they are ready to be sold. And Earl and Greystone Supply has now gone up to level four, nearly going to be hitting level five. That is fantastic. So at some point... We want to add in the factories that make the use of all of the other products that we get in here. The oil and the forestry stuff and all of that. But for now, I think that is pretty good. Okay, it's finally happened. This rubbish junction that we've got here just isn't cutting it. Um, basically, what's happened is it's the, the, the yeah, cardinal rule that I tell you guys when you're making these. Is between two nodes. So let's just take this example here. There's a node there and a node there. You need a gap that's big enough for one of the trains that you're using to fit in. And um, the train models that I've got, I've got a few extra ones here. Uh, they're not much bigger than the normal trains. I've deliberately picked them to be so. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically what's happened. So like these are coming in down here. They can't get out because this one up here is yeah all over the place so uh with a little i mean look at this node here <laughs> that's rubbish so what i'm going to do with a little bit of move it mods i'm hoping that we can uh fix this up so let's see how we go yes everyone's going to start going a bit hawky balky now because i'm switching things around and <laughs> and stuff but i want this connection to be further down here that's what i'm basically trying to aim for Okay, it's not the best train setup I've ever done, but we've now got bigger spaces here between the nodes, between that one and that one, between that one and this one. This one here should be okay. It doesn't get too busy. And this is just a straight crossover there, and that's been working fine. I just need to watch it a bit and make sure no trains are despawning because they can't get to where they want to go. But I think that is all okay. So you also want to make sure your factories never run out of the goods that they need. Uh, so in this case, glass and crops. And you will notice after a while, the crops will go down because they're being brought across by trains. Uh, they're not being stored anywhere over here. So to help these guys out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of silos here, large grain silos. There we go. Um, let's see, which side of the road would be a good place to have them? I think just here would be okay. Like that. That's right by junction. Yeah, that one there. And we're going to have that one on balance. There we go. So even though that might come in from outside the city, there's always going to be crops here ready to put into here so hopefully this will always stay full and it will always operate normally as you can see glass is no problem because that's only coming from up the road it's not relying on trains coming from the other side or traffic uh, trucks coming from the other side of the map so that should work okay and that will keep our business of lemonade making humming along nicely uh, same is also true with this guy but he only needs metals and metals are only coming from here and we know we've got plenty of those coming out of our factory here which is good so that should just keep going nicely as well
just something I've noticed here because this road connects up to our cargo area down here. We've got all the trucks coming through and these are the barracks where our people live and sleep and all that sort of thing. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to put a normal little zone uh, over the top of here like that. Park square and then we are going to use our policy of... Oh, I, don't know, I can remember what this one is. One of these down here. Heavy traffic ban. No heavy transport vehicles allowed. Does not affect highways. There we go. And that should stop these trucks coming through once, once these last few have gone by. Let's just keep an eye on this. And they should go down this way and connect. Well, the heavy traffic ban has stopped most of the big trucks coming through. I'm also going to put Old Town on here because we're still getting a few small little trucks and things coming through. And I really want to make sure my workers have a good night's sleep. So let's look, look at this guy breaking the rules coming through. Don't do it. And the donut guy. Hmm. Well, if those don't work, I could just turn it off on here. There we go. No trucks at all allowed down there. And we could just do it the other way coming in over here as well. Uh, oh, no. Traffic despawn. Wrong button. Vehicle restrictions. No trucks coming down there. Hopefully, that will finally stop it happening. Yeah, pretty sure that's got it. No other trucks and things are coming down here. Very good. Very good. So, how about a nice cinematic look at the city? It's been a while since we've uh, taken a look at, uh, look at the whole thing overall. And I'm really pleased with the way that it is going. Um, I like the industry area. I like the built. I like the way you can sort of look backwards and see the nice big built-up area in the background. I think that looks really, really nice. Let me ask you: What else would you like to see in the city? Because I've been slowly chipping away at the different parts of the game. We've done a bit of parks. We've done some industry. We've got the university set up. Um, I've got some big bits of the city, some small bits of the city. We've done some of the transport. What would you like to see next? Now, this is a huge map. One of the things that sprung to my mind is we could just go to a totally separate part of the map. Maybe something that's really mountainous or particularly difficult to build in and try and build there and then connect that up to this part of the city. How does that sound? That sounds quite interesting to me. Um, I've also got some other assets and things I'd like to use. There was released by... I can't remember who, so I'm not going to say the name in case I get it totally wrong, but an absolutely beautiful looking... Uh, stadium. I think it was an Aussie Rules football stadium. You may have seen me liking that one on Twitter, sending it around. Um, I want to put that in the city. So that might be sort of what we build around in this other part of our city. And of course, then we're going to need to get the roads connected, get the rail going, all that sort of thing. I haven't done any metro yet. I've had people asking about that. That has been a deliberate decision because I've wanted to try and make people use the road so it looks busy. Um, but also to have some traffic that we need to deal with and to deal with it with trains and things like that. It's it's quite easy just to whack a metro underground and solve all your issues. And we haven't got that big of a city. I mean, we're sort of... I don't know what size it's at. I can't see it on the screen. Is it 20 or 30k? I don't think we've quite reached 30k. We lost some because of the fire. Then through the magic of time travel and game saves and the game crashing and going back in time, we, we gained some people back again. Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't think in my mind we're big enough yet to get Metro going all over the place. But yeah, so let me know in the comments below. What would you like to see uh, me tackle in the city yet? Don't worry, I'm not running out of ideas. This isn't the end of the TV series or anything like that. But I just thought I'd throw it open to you because, uh, you know, you guys and girls do have good, good ideas. I'd like to do something with canals. I never use canals. Let's have a sip of tea while I consider that. Hmm. I'd like to get some canals going. Maybe I'll do a bit of research on some nice ways to use canals and to build around those. Because I remember some amazing canal assets that I used a long, long time ago. So I'm sure there's some other stuff like that. I make a really beautiful looking area. Beautiful, beautiful with, uh, with canals. That could be good. We do need to expand some of our industries as well though. I'd like to go down the other industry chains, get some of the other factories going, make as much money as possible so that is the plan if you haven't subscribed yet please do so before you go leave a like as well don't forget we do a lot of traffic fixing as well as building up our city here of tville so you could always watch the other videos on the screen as well thank you for your support and i will see you all very soon for the next video every tuesday thursday and saturday that's the general plan take care everybody see you soon Bye bye